Hi. Today we're going to cover the confidence interval. All right, what is a confidence interval? Let's just look at that word real quick. The confidence interval is basically how sure are you that your number is going to fall within a certain distance, a certain parameter. All right. So I'm just going to draw this real quick. If you have any questions, please ask your instructor or email them to us. All right, what the confidence interval can be used for, say for example, we're using these, these bag of chips. We wanna know, on average, what's the weight gonna be per bag? Everybody knows you don't get a whole bag of chips. You get a good bag of air and some chips. So rather than going through like 100 bags of air and chips, you have a good guess and a good number per bag on what they weigh, we can use part of that confidence interval to see exactly where it falls within. Okay, so what that means, it's like a shortcut. Instead of using all these other formulas, you can use a confidence interval to cut down your work to find out how many chips are really in here or how much this really weighs compared to the bag of air you just bought. All right, again, confidence interval. So this is normal distribution. So essentially what you want to find out with the confidence interval is where is it going to land? Is it going to land over here or is it going to land over here? The biggest thing with the confidence interval that you want to worry about is if your goal, if you're trying to figure out exactly where it is in this area and in this area, but again, you don't want to go through your hundred bag of chips, your confidence interval should help you narrow down. All right, we're going to fall within here. Once you have that, it could help you out tremendously. Again, without having to rip through all those bags. It says it's gonna save you time and it's gonna save you energy. All right, our first question from our first student is, right. if you wanted to make sure that 95% of all customers who bought a bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos, like this bag, got at least 10 ounces of chips, what would you do? Okay. So, we're about 95% confident. Remember that number, 95%. Never, ever say you are 100% confident. It's just not gonna happen, all right? You're gonna be 95% confident that the population mean falls within the interval of 9.61 and 10.9 ounces. What does that mean, all right? Say, for example, your, your whole issue was you bought 15 bags. So again, our number went from 30 to 15. So you bought 15 bags and each bag is supposed to weigh mm, 10 ounces. Guess what, again, you bought some air with those chips and people are finding out, hey, I'm not getting 10 ounces, I'm getting 9.85. To me, I'd be hungry, I would eat them. But you may not be me. You may wonder, why am I really getting ripped off and getting 9.85? Again, I don't wanna do a whole complicated problem. So I'm gonna use a confidence interval to find out. And with that confidence interval, it lets us go and find out that, yeah, we are within 95%. You hit that 95% here, that's like happy. You are in your happy place. If you're not your 95%, you come out over here, that's not cool. You want to be here where you're good, where that 95% tell is. The other reason why it's always going to be 95% if you're going to be within here, you have the sections on the outside. Those are like those other bags of chips that you don't really want to mess with because they're not flaming hot Cheetos. So essentially, we're confident, we're 95% sure, we're 95% confident that bags that we have are within these parameters. With that, again, it saves you your time and hopefully your bag of chips. And that's why we're gonna use it, the confidence interval. Thank you.